You don't want generic advice like use legible fonts or keep your design clean. I'm talking about real world examples and advanced strategies that give experienced designers their edge. That's exactly what we are doing today. 30 web design tips which are real practical tips that will elevate your craft. If you apply even some of these, you'll see immediate improvements in your design quality, client satisfaction and personal confidence. By the end of this video, you'll feel like you've leveled up. Let's dive in. For anyone, just starting out is simple. Watch and learn from a bunch of tutorials. Seriously, one of the fastest ways to improve is by seeing how things are actually done. And guess what? Our channel has over 500 videos covering everything from design preloading animations like this to creating smooth parallax effects like this. So start exploring and level up your skills. Next, before you even start designing, you need a plan. And the best way to do that? Use the new Elementor AI Site Planner. This free tool helps you generate site maps and wireframes effortlessly, making your design process so much easier. If you want a full breakdown of how to use it, check out our video linked in the pinned comment below. Now, if you really want to take your designs to the next level, learning the basics of HTML, CSS, and JavaScript will help you a ton. But don't worry, as you can use page builders and get a bunch of different HTML or JS code from our videos. And we actually have a full video on CSS units explained, so check that out for more context. That brings us to Elementor and WordPress. You don't need a code to create amazing websites. Elementor lets you visually build stunning pages with full control. And the best part? It's constantly improving with new AI tools and features. So if you're not using it yet, now is the time to start. Check our description and download the Elementor plugin for your WordPress website. All right, when it comes to choosing a style for your site, consistency is the key. Whether you go for minimalist, modern, or even a brutalist design, stick to one style throughout your website. This keeps everything looking professional. Here is a quick tutorial on the best site layout and some amazing hero section designs that you can use for your website. Once you have a layout, let's talk about colors. A great trick to keep your design balanced is the 60-30-10 rule. That means 60% of your design should be primary color, 30% a secondary color, and 10% an accent color. This keeps your site visually appealing and easy on the eyes. Also, let's focus more on color choice. It's not just about picking a few colors. It's about using shades, tints, tones to add depth and sophistication to your design. Instead of sticking to flat colors, try adjusting brightness and saturation levels to create a more polished, professional look. If you're not sure where to start, color tools like coolers can help you generate beautiful palettes in seconds. You can explore different combinations, test accessibilities, contrast ratios, and even extract colors from an image for inspiration. Now, fonts can make or break your design, and a good rule of thumb is to stick to professional readable ones. Some of my favorites, Poppins, Anton, Montserrat, and Space Grotesque. These fonts look clean, modern, and work well for both headings and body text. For some extra flair, check out these top text effects to make your headings stand out. Here's a more detailed guide on how to pick the color and font for your website. Also, when it comes to text layout, always left the line paragraphs for better readability. Centered text may look stylish for headings, but for body content, it's harder to read in large blocks. Avoid justified text unless absolutely necessary as it can create uneven spacing that makes reading more difficult. One of the biggest mistakes beginners make is uploading huge, unoptimized images, which can slow down your site. The best way to fix this? Use Airlift. It automatically optimizes images for all devices, ensuring they load quickly without losing quality. Plus, if you're using WebP or WebM formats, Airlift will handle the conversions for free, so you don't even have to think about it. Speaking of speed, Airlift doesn't just optimize images, it also improves fonts. It automatically optimizes Google Fonts, removes the unused ones, and even gets rid of unnecessary emojis to make your website load faster. So if you want better performance without lifting a finger, installing Airlift is a no-brainer. If you upload images that are too large, they'll slow down your site. But if they are too small, they look blurry on high-resolution screens. We have a full tutorial on how to properly scale images to maintain quality without affecting performance. Make sure to check that out. Also, when adding icons and logos, 
always use SVG files instead of PNGs or JPEGs. SVGs are vector based, meaning they stay sharp on all screen sizes and load faster than traditional image formats. Now, if you're feeling stuck or uninspired, check out ours.com. This site showcases the best web designs of the day, month, and year, giving you endless ideas to improve your layouts, animations, and interactions. Seeing high quality design in action can help you push your creativity further. One of the biggest things that separate pro designers from the beginners, they collect inspiration constantly. Art directors spend time every day browsing sites like Pinterest, Dribbble, Behance, saving ideas and expanding their visual library. The more designs you expose yourself to, the better your instincts will get. Like Paul Rand said, don't try to be original, just try to be good. So don't stress about reinventing the wheel, just focus on learning from great designs. A good way to start? Create your own Pinterest board and start pinning anything that catches your eye. Over time, you'll build up a go-to bank of inspiration that will make your designing so much easier. But what if you don't want to start from scratch? Well, WordPress and Elementor offer thousands of free templates. Plugins like Starter Templates and Envato Elements give you access to professionally designed layouts that you can import in seconds. If you want to learn how to get these templates for free, check out our video linked in the description below. Let's talk about layouts. If you're still using old school section based designs, it's time to upgrade. Elementor now has flexbox containers that give you way more control over responsive layouts. You can create complex, perfectly aligned designs with fewer elements, making your site lighter and faster. Not sure how to use them? We've got a full tutorial on flexbox containers that will get you up to the speed in no time. Another key element of great web design, buttons. They seem simple, but they play a huge role in user experience. Your buttons need to be easy to see, easy to tap, and properly sized for every device. We actually have a full video on how to scale buttons and adjust sizing options to make sure they're always visible and usable. Speaking of buttons, calls to action should be easy to find and tap. Whether it's a sign up form, a purchase button, or a contact link, your CTA should be obvious and visually distinct. One way to ensure consistency is to save buttons as global assets in Elementor, so they look the same across your entire website. Let's talk about white space. A cluttered design overwhelms visitors, making it harder for them to focus on what matters. Spacing out elements properly creates a more modern, breathable layout. Think of it like interior design. Sometimes less is more. Another key principle of great web design is creating depth. Just like in real life, where some things are in the foreground grabbing your attention, while others fade into the background, your design should have a clear visual hierarchy. Establish at least three levels of depth. For example, in a hero section, the bold title should stand out in the foreground, an engaging image can sit behind it, and the call to action button can be positioned strategically to maintain hierarchy. When done right, this technique guides the user's eye naturally through your design, making it more immersive, visually appealing, and easy to navigate. Speaking of usually appealing, let's talk about animations. A well-placed animation can enhance user experience, but too many can slow down your site and feel distracting. Keep it subtle. Use animations to guide users, not overwhelm them. Smooth hover effects, scroll reveals, and micro interactions are great, but avoid long loading animations unless absolutely necessary. Another design mistake to avoid, improper heading structures. Your website needs a clear hierarchy. H1 for the main title, H2 for sections, and H3 for subsections. Not only does this improve readability, but it also helps your SEO. Search engines use heading structures to understand your content, so get this right from the start. Now let's touch on navigation. Your site should be easy to navigate. Visitors should never feel lost. Use clear menu structures, keep important links visible, and avoid overly complicated navigations. A simple, intuitive menu improves user experience and keeps visitors on your site for longer. Here is a quick and easy tutorial on how to create a mega menu or a transparent sticky header that you can use for your website. All right, we've covered design and responsiveness. Let's experiment with something unconventional. Explore anti-design principles to create unique, eye-catching layouts. Breaking traditional design rules like using asymmetric grids, Bold typography or unconventional color schemes can make your site stand out when done right. But balance is key. Don't overdo it at the cost of usability. Also, it's super common to get attached to your first design, but trust me, don't. 
Instead, duplicate your artboard and start experimenting. Make big changes. Try different layouts. Swap out fonts and play with spacing. You'd be surprised how often your first idea isn't the best. It's just a starting point. And before you launch, make sure your site looks great on all devices. Over half of all website traffic comes from mobile devices. So your design should be fully responsive. Elementor makes this easy with its responsive editing mode, but always double check how things appear on an actual phone. Finally, don't design in isolation. Join a web design community to keep improving. Whether it's online forums, discord groups, or design challenges, surrounding yourself with other designers will help you keep inspired and refine your skills. Behance, Dribble, and CodePen are my favorite communities to stay in touch with. Before you hit publish, make sure to run a performance test using Google PageSpeed. This will highlight anything slowing your site down and give you clear steps to boost your speed. But if you've already got Airlift installed, chances are you're already rocking a 90 plus score effortlessly. Give it a try and let us know in the comments what's your page speed score. Click here if you want to 3x your site speed in just one minute. Trust me, you're gonna love it. Click here and I'll see you there.